So you're going to hear me talk a lot about the preview review questions. In fact, when students ask for a study guide for this class for preparation for the exams, well, basically you have it since the first day of the semester. The preview review questions should help you to get ready for class, and they should also help you to identify what I believe are the key points that you need to know in each chapter. So not just memorizing facts, but really understanding how things fit together, processes, structures, and their functions. So I hope you'll make good use of the preview review questions, both in your preparation for class, but also in your review after class to get ready for the exams. So before class, what I would recommend is that you look on our Blackboard course site and go ahead and look at, read carefully, open up on your computer, the preview review questions for that chapter. So let me read these to you. Chapter 7 is going to be our example chapter. Ooh, I'm in the wrong chapter on the textbook. So let's use chapter 7 as an example. Chapter 7 is on membrane structure and function. The preview review questions include explain the fluid mosaic model, describe the ways in which the membrane is fluid, so the fluidity of the membrane already is sounding like an important thing to learn about, know the six major functions of the membrane proteins. So we're going to look specifically for the proteins in the membrane, find out what they do, and explain the selectivity of the membrane and know how different kinds of molecules are transported across. And then there's a tip here that says to include diffusion and osmosis, which I know you've heard about before, facilitated diffusion, which must be a special type of diffusion, and active transport. And then understand the processes of bulk transport. So these are five points, but they're not one word answers. They're five different things for you to really understand and learn thoroughly and be able to write answers about so that you'll be able to answer both multiple choice questions, but also short answer, answer short essay types of questions or draw picture questions on your exam. So let's begin with the first one. Before class, when you have your preview review questions open, you're using them to preview, to understand what parts of the chapter are going to be important. So I'm open to chapter seven here. And I know I need to explain the fluid mosaic model, describe ways in which it's fluid, talk about membrane proteins, explain selectivity, which I need to find out what that is, and understand the processes of bulk transport. So as I go through, wow, concept 7.1, the very first concept in the book is on cellular membranes are fluid mosaics of lipids and proteins. So it looks like I need to read this chapter. And in fact, there's an excellent figure here in the book that looks like maybe it's going to explain the overall structure to me. As I go through, I notice that this next subheading in a chapter, it's entitled The Fluidity of Membranes. So I definitely want to read at least the first paragraph in that section. And then I notice here that there's actually a figure, 7.5, entitled Factors That Affect Membrane Fluidity. And I should probably look at that pretty carefully. As I continue, now I see a heading that says membrane proteins and their functions. That definitely sounds important. And there's a figure that shows me how membranes are embedded into the membrane, so how they're located there. Oh, and I turn the page, and I see a figure that has one, two, three, four, five, six different examples of membrane proteins and what their functions are. So I know I need to know that. As I continue through, I see something about selective permeability. So that must be the selectivity that I knew I need to read about. I continue, I find a segment on osmosis, so I could read about that. And further through, I see facilitated diffusion. That was one of those special terms that I need to be sure to include. And then finally, as I continue towards the end of the chapter, I find active transport and bulk transport. And so it's easy for me to target my preview of the chapter by using those preview review questions. So I don't have to read everything, but I could read maybe the first paragraph in each one of those topic areas so that I'm going to be ready for lecture. Now what about after class? After class, now I need to get rigorous. So I've previewed the chapter, I've done Mastering Biology homework, and now I'm really ready to start finding out what I know. So the only way you can find out what you know is to actually close the textbook. So close the textbook, set it aside, and then you're ready to get to work with pencil and paper and find out what you know and what you don't. So I'm just going to push my textbook out of the way. It's handy so I can check my work. 
but let's start. Explain the fluid mosaic model. This sounds like something I'd probably want to write out by hand in words and maybe also include a picture. So let's see, I'm going to start with a picture. I know that the membrane is made of phospholipids, a phospholipid bilayer, and I know that there are phosphate heads that are hydrophilic and that there are hydrophobic tails. So the phosphate group at the head is hydrophilic and the fatty acid tails are hydrophobic. So my first test of my knowledge is to draw a phospholipid in sort of a simple representation. So the next thing is how do I arrange phospholipids into a phospholipid bilayer? How do I make that into a plasma membrane? And so I could draw for myself a simplified version of at least part of a plasma membrane. And I'm going to go ahead and put at least a couple of proteins in there, because I know that proteins have six different functions and that they're embedded in the membrane. Now in the phospholipid bilayer of the fluid mosaic model, what I understand is that the hydrophilic heads, the phosphates, they point towards the outside world, which is usually going to be aqueous, have watery environment, and also the cytoplasm of the cell is made up of a great deal of water. And so here's just a brief representation of the basics of the fluid mosaic model where you can see that the hydrophilic heads are faced to the outside world and to inside of the cell. Proteins span across the membrane and notice that nothing's touching. So they're loosely associated. There's no firm bonding. And so that's going to contribute to the fluidity of the model. And so that's just a start of what I would do in answering these first two questions. Explain the fluid mosaic model. First of all, I know that I have phospholipids with hydrophilic heads, hydrophobic tails, that we have a bilayer of them that make up a fluid mosaic membrane. And the mosaic part is the fact that there are different proteins scattered throughout that membrane. And so that's the beginning of my answers to preview review questions one and two. But in fact, I would continue to draw a lot more complexity. So you're going to learn that there's also attachments to the cytoskeleton inside the cell, that there are going to be cholesterol molecules involved in the plasma membrane, and I would want to add in those additional details to have a really thorough answer. And then after I've completed my own answers, then I open the textbook or I open my lecture notes and compare my answers to what's in the book and see where do I need to read a little bit deeper to really develop my understanding. So hopefully you'll make good use of those preview review questions. They're your study guide to our course. Most of my multiple choice and short answer questions directly relate to the questions that I'll ask you there. And the only way to find out what you know and what you don't is to write down what you know and then look up what you don't. So I'll see you in class.